All right, in this video, we're going to go through powering up a GPU, a single GPU on a, uh, what do I got, a 470 MSI motherboard. It is a AMD Radeon 6600 XT Red Devil. I got the Red Devil. It lights up all red. I'm not going to show you that. It's boring. But I look up Red Devil 6600 XT. That's what I'm running. I got the little the little uh, little guy right on the uh, PCI slot on the motherboard, hanging vertically, precariously off my Borg uh, CPU mining rack. If you haven't seen my Borg CPU mining rack, uh, look at my older videos. It's uh, baker shelves, wired baker shelves, and I got multiple CPU rigs hanging from it. It looks like a board cube. It's awesome. It will be, it will assimilate you. <laughs> so where am I at right now? What am I doing this for? Crypto Jim, Crypto Jim, what are you doing? Why are you firing up a GPU when you hate GPU mining? What's wrong with you? All right. I'm over here on what to mine. I've seen some other YouTube videos where, oh, we're GPU mining and we're making money. Ah, I'm mean, good for them. I don't like GPU mining. I've been through it. I've done it. It was a good little experiment, but uh, just the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, even at the time, based on electricity cost, heat, uh, cost of the hardware, maintenance, and oh my God, temperatures on the cards, the fans breaking on the car. It's just a maintenance headache. It's like owning a Ford or American built car. You know, it's just nothing but headache. All right, gone with that. Now I'm just playing around with CPU mining because it generates a few bucks. It, it's kind of tapered off lately, uh, the CPU mining, but I, I still have it running. My philosophy is any way I can be stacking Satoshi's Bitcoin right now is the name of the game. I swapped my Litecoin, man. I dumped it. I dumped that turd. The Litecoin turd is gone. I flushed it. I flushed it into Bitcoin. I swapped it. And I'm happy about it. I'm now debating whether to dump my Ethereum, get out of that mess, and uh, put it into Bitcoin. I just want to be all Bitcoin because that's the king. That's what the ETFs are after. That's what JP Morgan's afraid of. If people are afraid of it, man, that means it's going to do well. You know, he's pushing his JPM coin, which, get this, guys, here's how the world works. It's built on Ethereum. Uh -huh. Why else would he hate Bitcoin? And uh, go in front of Congress and say, only bad people use it. Ah, well, bad people use cash, too. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Anyway, what are we doing? We got a 6600 XT. We are sitting right now on the awesome whattomine.com site. And as we did a previous video, oh, I need to update my pointer. You guys just, you guys just sit back and talk amongst yourselves right now while I figure out how to get my mouse cursor activated activate mouse cursor crypto gems mouse cursor Be bitcoin bender never had a mouse cursor did he all right look at that dun, dun, dun. we're back big daddies all right what the heck was i talking about all right we're going we fired up the rig big daddies we fired it up we got the 6600 xt red devil all this motherboard has is a puny little amd5 but who cares it works it's a little engine that could, I'm not going to use that to mine. I just want to see what the heck this Red Devil can give me. This 6600 XT powerhouse can give me when it's mining. Uh, let's look at where we're at. So I go up here, I put in one 6600 XT. And you'll notice also here, there are other cards. You just pick your poison right here. I have 1660 Ti's and 1660 S's. Uh, spoiler alert, these are just as profitable as a 6600. Go figure, right? And they probably consume a little less power. I don't know. That might be another bake-off test. But right now, humor me and let's go along this path together. Uh, one 6600 XT. And what is my power, you guys ask? <clears throat> 11 cents kilowatt hour. All right, put that in right here. If you don't know uh, what your power cost is, just look at your bill. It's in there. All right, let's go. What's my profitability in 24 hours? All right, hit calculate. All right, refresh, big daddies. Okay, we come back. We come back with a nice hash. 
This shows you your algorithm and the profitability on the card. This top number is your profitability before, before what? Before electricity. So when you add in electricity costs, holy crap, it goes from 45 little pennies down to 16 pennies. <clears throat> yeah, big difference, man. You got to be realistic when you're doing this crap. Don't just think you're going to be wealthy by my 445 cents a day. It's not the way it works. Let me make it even more uh, depressing. You got 45 cents actual profitability. We're going to prove that. Let's see if that works. And then you get this after electricity. Well, guess what? You're mining to a pool, right? You're mining on whatever. That's nice hash. You get your paid out in Bitcoin, which is really what you want, man. Well, I don't know why everyone's messing around with these altcoins. Yeah, where are you going to sell these things? It's ridiculous. I went through it. I've been through it. I can, I can knock them as much as I want. But uh, what are you going to do here? I mean, you got Bitcoin now on this uh, nice hash. Now you got to move it to your wallet, man. You do not ever, ever want to leave your crypto on an exchange. Oh, my God. Trust me. I've dodged one, two... Two, two bullets on that, man. Shots across the bow. I got out, man. Woo. Yeah, it's it's a it's a wild west, and uh, you can lose everything. It is true. You can uh, you can always only ever lose anything and more, right? I don't know. It's Just be careful out there. So what are we going to do? You got to move that off to your wallet. Guess what? You're going to pay a Bitcoin transaction fee. And if you look at my recent video, those Bitcoin transaction fees have skyrocketed. Uh, it has really gone up. Why is that crypto gem? Well, more and more stuff, more and more people are on the network. More and more traffic is on the Bitcoin network, and that causes the fees to go up. So the tip I gave you in another video, well, go look for the tip. I'm not going to give it away. I gave a pro tip, a pro tip on how to minimize your Bitcoin and Ethereum transaction fees. Ethereum, and they call it the GWI, GWI. Oh, I hate it. No, it reminds me of bad times. Before the empire, the dark times. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, what are we what are we talking, what are we babbling about here? All right, so we got nice hash kapow. Again, I am all in on nice hash, man. They got it. They got it down. They weathered the storm. They weathered, weathered the crypto winter, the crypto mining winter, and they're still there. And they uh, are paying you out in Bitcoin, and that is all that matters. So what are they saying? Sixteen cents on a sixty six hundred XT. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find this rig and I'm going to set it up. So just sit tight and you all talk amongst yourselves while I find this rig that I just started up. I even forgot what number it was. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. So bear with me. This video is real time. I don't know what it is. All right. Three, four, five. Is it five? It's number five. We're going for number five, big daddies. Big daddy. Big daddy. And I'm going to show you everything I do, my whole use case. Oh, we can't show you that. Just did. Oh, okay. Stand by. Let me get this little puppy over here. I'll put it in my order. There we are. This is my Windows 10 rig running an AMD 5 with a 6600 XT. And if you guys, I don't know if I have this on here. Oh, I suggest always having hardware info on your Windows. It gives you sensor readings on each component on your motherboard and the motherboard itself, wattage, temperatures, all the goodies. I do not have it on this one because I whack this one. Never wipe a a uh, drive that you have stuff on it. Just buy another drive, man. Don't do it. It'll save you days. You took time to build this crap. Don't just wipe, wipe it. I'm an idiot. I did that and I had to rebuild this machine. So let's go in. We're booted up. We're logged in. Uh, if you don't believe me, Everyone doesn't believe anyone anymore. Doubt but verify. That is a truth. Just believe me. That's a good way to live by. Someone tells you something, doubt them, but go verify it. I'm not, don't trust but verify. Hell no. Don't, <laughs> that's how they get you. All right, you go in here, you go display adapters. Bom, bom, bom. AMD Radeon. I don't even know how to say it. I went to public school. RX 6600 XT in the house. All right, that little bastard's out there just sitting around waiting to be mined. 
All right, we're going to go to nice hash miner. We're going to let that little guy fire up. All right, he's running as admin. All right, come on, big daddy. He's going to come on up. He's thinking. There we go. Checking CPU. Checking Intel C GPUs. I don't know what that's about. And device monitoring. Miner plugins. Loading them plugins, the big daddies. That's pretty much the miners, like G Miner, X uh, XM Rig. Uh, cross reference. Let's read together. All right. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna make you guys sit through the through. All right. Let's go over. Let's go over. Let's go over. Look at that. 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 AMD Radeon Radeon 16 RXT is stopped. Uh, I don't care about the CPU. It's a Ryzen 5 16 It's a little guy. It does about a third of the work that a uh, 30. Uh, what is it? 3900X does. But still, it produces stuff. Can't complain. Uh, what am I doing? Benchmark. Going to the benchmark. I'm going to disable the CPU. I'm going to... Whoa. All right, you can see what's running XM rig. I'm just going to clear all the speeds out on each one. one, one. No, I have a fresh... A fresh patch, 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 patch. My new benchmarking one. So, 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 I got, I got, I got... 600 XT, AT, 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 and uh, you can see all, see all, see all. Sad. There's Kapow. What else is in here? My God. <clears throat> what did it say? Is say is say is mine. Got to go back to what to what to what to what. Nice hash Kapow. Pow. Nice hash Kapow. Pow, pow. So there we go. I got Kapow. All right. That's gonna benchmark. Now, now, now. Remember it said 16 cents. I also went over, went over, went over. You gotta have these bookmark. What to mine, and then a the nice hash profit profitability calculator. Bookmark them. Mark, make them your friends. I went in with the same device. Look at that, right there. You guys can read with me. My electricity cost. I did a calculation. Same thing. Look at that. They're right on par. It gives you a nice approximation with the power. The breakdown: forty-two cents. Electricity cost: twenty-six cents. After that, I get sixteen cents before transaction fees. So a month I can make two bucks. Whoa, that's pathetic. What? That doesn't make sense. One week. That's really odd. Okay, they're estimating two dollars and eighty-five cents in a month profit after all the electricity cut. No, I right off the bat, the juice isn't worth the squeeze on this card. But we're just playing. Start mining if you want to set that crap up. I'm already set up. I'm going to go over here, seeing that both of these calculators pretty much agree that kapow is the way to go. Let's do a start benchmark together, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back, grab your popcorn, grab the kids and dogs, and let's watch this benchmarking go. We're going to wait together. I'm putting you guys through it. You're going to wait, and you're going to like it. You're going to like watching the benchmark. All right, you can you can bounce around here. Oh, it's benchmarking. See all that great stuff? Oh, let's go to the dashboard. All right, it's benchmarking. All right, look at that. I think this little this little guy will kick on kick off the miner right away, which I hate. I just want to do it manually. I'm pretty sure I could change that somewhere if I would actually sit down and figure it out, but I'm lazy. So, ooh, fail bench. That's that's old. Ignore that. Close your eyes. All right, what are we doing? Pending, pending. Oh, up, 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 up. We are benchmarking. He is on the Radeon benchmarking. Let's go over here. So we can see it together. I don't know how long it takes. We can always go down. I'm not going to show you that. I don't know. I was going to do task manage, but who cares? We'll just sit here and wait. So while we wait, let's go look at the goodies. This is the CPU mining stuff. Boy, it's pathetic. It's down to 429 a day. It was up to 15, 20 bucks when I started around Turkey Day. And uh, within a month, I made 260 bucks. Okay, let's just run. Oh, it dropped. Ah! Oy. Ah. Why did that do that? There's 12, 13, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, 2. All right. Yeah, I, my names are crossed. I call it 2, even though the machine's 5. It's benchmarking. So the, dash, the dashboard on NiceHash has updated, and it's showing it is benchmarking, and that's all happy. We're going to watch it together. But you can see how pathetic it is. It's really kind of dropped off. So in a month, let's say I made 250, 60, 260 bucks. Uh, who cares about the number? Because that is all based on this, the old Bitcoin 
uh, current spot price. So what really matters is this Satoshi. 0.00591692. That is what I want to see in my wallet, big daddies. I want to see that and this $250 fiat hopefully become 1 million. I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Who knows what it could go up? It could go down. It could go sideways. And it could do nothing at all. Thank you, Bitcoin Ben. Crypto Jim and Bitcoin Ben together again. All right. We're just waiting for the benchmarking to finish. Oh, boy. So what's going on out there? Getting ready for Christmas? Have you all been good? Who's on the naughty list? Huh? I like to find a nice uh, wife that's on the naughty list, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. Let's go. Uh, what am I doing? Where's Bitcoin, big daddies? Big daddies. Bitcoin is at 43,701 and old ETH. Boo, I hate ETH. But uh, that's at 22. I'm going to swap you, ETH. If you don't behave, I'm going to swap you. I don't have to deal with your gas fees again. I'd rather deal with the Bitcoin fees because I know how to get around those or minimize them versus, versus uh, your gas fees, which are a pain in the butt. All right. Benchmarking. I am so sorry. This thing is slow. Slow as a dog. All right. I'm not running the CPU. I'm doing the benchmark on the 6600 XT. I'm going to look over at it. Oh, the little the little fans are spinning. I'm not going to show you because that's only for me to see. But they're spinning and the red devil's all lit up. Sucking down that wattage. Going, give me some of that power. Give me some of that power, big daddies. I want to, want to eat up all your power and make your power bill go to the moon. Yeah, I got my power bill from uh, since Turkey Day. Not bad at all. I thought maybe, oh my God, I'm running these rigs again, these CPU. But again, they burn roughly 85 watts per CPU. Not, you know, you know residual, uh, what do you call it? A collateral power from the motherboard. Um, I don't know, 95, who knows? So definitely wait, 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 can GPU. All right, here we go. Kapow, it started the mine. What mine are we using? Miner.exe, I have no idea what miner is using. Well, let's go check. It's just, all right, it's on Kapow. It's the Power Color AMD Radeon 6600 XT, 8 gigabytes. Veri verification, verified on CPU difficulty. All right, it's kind of churning. It's starting to think. It's mining. Oh, we got a little pop up here. Wait, a little detail. Oh, I bet if I overclocked this thing, I'd probably get better efficiency, but I'm not going to mess with it. So I got 14.96 mega hashers. Uh, best is 30 point, point, point. Power is 134 watt, 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 way over. Again, like I told you, my CPU 3900s burn about 85 watts on the motherboard. Bad. I mean, it's not. This is just for fun, guys. I'm going to turn this thing on. One, on, one, on, one. On. You're not getting any juice out of this puppy. Uh, best. Maybe I'm screwed up on this. Shares best. Okay. Again, if I overclock it, I'm sure I could, I could do better. I just, I just, I just close. Let's go back to this. See what the hash rate, hash rate, hash rate, 0.95. <clears throat> Again, this just started, so it's going to kind of throttle a bit until it finds a nice happy spot. And I thought this little bastard taught me where the hash rate was. It's right in front of me. 16 is what they're saying. So they're saying I could do 16 mega hash. You see this right here? 16 mega hash per second at 110 watts. Let's go double check. Ah, big daddies. There we go. Power. Whoa. Wait, what? Is it really sucking that much? That much? That much? 106. I'm at 15. And it dropped a bit, so I almost got to 15. I'm one under, but my power is a bit higher. 137 watts. Let's let it rip a bit. Let's let it rip a little bit. I'm going back to what to mine. My brain, I can't remember anything anymore. Oh my God. 110 schmacker wattos. All right. 110 at 16. So 14, I'm a bit low. Power is a bit high. I bet if I overclock, I don't want to mess with it. But again, it looks like it's within, you know, it's close, but it's not exact. 48% fan. Temp is 62, which is nice. 6600 XTs run uh, decently cool, which is good. And they really don't use much power. All right, what's going on? We're still doing stuff. 
Uh, do 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 do. Exciting, right? Oh, electricity, hash rate. Let's do one more. We got 15. I'll just round up, man. I'm a rounder upper. 130. Power's a bit high. Like I said, 29 over than what they're suggesting of 110. If you guys know what overclocks is set for Kapow, let me know. I may tweak that as well. I just don't want to mess with it. I'm happy with a default card just to show you what you get out of the box. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go to the dashboard. We are still on the rig. Remoted in. So 45 cents a day. Look at that. Woo. Let's go over here, Big Daddies. 45 cents. And we're going to go down 40. Look at that. It's spot on. How did they know? How did they know what to mine? And uh, nice hash profitability calculator. You're spot on. Again, it, it's showing me 45 cents, which is exactly before, before electricity cost. And let's go back. There it is. I mean, is that proof or what? Right there. If you're going to go buy yourself some of this Mac hardware, you best run to these sites. These, this nice hash little guy, this one, this profitability calculator, you better go there. And you better back it up with this one, nice hash. I mean, uh, bleh, what to mine. Put in the hardware you want to buy. Your electricity cost right here. You can click on this calculate button and you'll get a whole spreadsheet of this. Uh, you know, if you're going to go out and buy one of these CPUs on eBay, you think it's a good deal, you can come and say, oh my God, I'm going to get 30 bucks a day. Buy it. But this is not, this uh, for this GPU, it, in this case, it's a GPU. Uh, the juice is not worth the squeeze. What if you, 16 cents a day if you buy a, a $300 GPU. Uh, do the math. Oh my God. You never get your money back. But if you're doing it, if you're doing it for a hobby, it's all right, man. It's a hobby. You always spend money on toys and hobbies. All right. Hey, that's it, man. That is all I wanted to show you. We did it. We proved it works. Um, we got the same numbers. Hashes are a bit lower than usual, but 15, come on. It's with it's within reason uh, right out of the box. The power is a, the only thing I would try to correct would be the power, maybe lower the voltage down on the, uh, uh, what do you call it, GPU via afterburner. MSI afterburner, the overclock tool of tool of tool of tool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you guys think? What do you think? Is this fun or what? It's kind of fun. It's stupid. It's fun. Again, take away all fiat monetary bullshit, right? I only care about this stacking this Bitcoin. It's small, it's fractional, but it's better than zero. And uh, I have my own beliefs what's going to happen uh, come in the next quarter what's going to happen to Bitcoin. I just want to have a nice little stack just sitting there. And that's why I've been swapping my crap Litecoin. And I may want to crap, uh, swap their, swap their, swap their, swap Just get it in Bitcoin. I'll become, then I'll become Bitcoin Jim. I'll say, Bitcoin Ben, you got to move aside. Bitcoin Jim's in town. In town? Jim, I don't know where I'm. I'm here. <laughs> oh my God, I'm losing my mind. All right. Hope this is fine. I'm just goofing around, 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 around. Yeah, there we go. Just giving you a real world example of what's out there. I have not bought any new hard, new hard, new hard. All this hardware is from two, two year, two plus years ago when the G GPU mining went crazy with uh, Ethereum and Ethermon and all that, all that crap, ETHash. Uh, yeah, and then I've just had some CPUs as a side, side hustle. If you and those now are the ones working, and yeah, I'll take two hundred fifty eight bucks. I'll take zero point zero zero five nine. Satoshis, and I'll put them in my wallet, and I'll watch them grow like a weed, and, you know, I could lose it all, but oh well, who cares? You know, you live, you learn. All right, that's all I got. Go for it. Do great things. Again, like I said, if you're going to buy hardware, go check them out in the profitability calculator first. Don't just go buy crap, hoping you're going to make money on it. At least, at least know what you're buying and what it's going to generate based on today's uh, statistics and stuff. It all fluctuates. So, you know, tomorrow this GPU... This little guy right here, this 6600 XT, could uh, generate five bucks a day. You just don't know. You just got to check and keep up with it. It's a whole crypto mining ecosystem, and it's a living organism, and you just got to get in there and uh, you know consume a lot of a lot of content, but doubt but verify. And this is what I did. I just went and put my card in and said, eh, all right, whatever. On on on. It's not the juice is not worth the squeeze. It's a it's a good saying, and it holds true. All right. Merry Christmas, folks. Go out. Be good to each other. Turn off 
any cable news, turn off network news, turn off the TV. It's not worth it. Stay off Twitter. De gauss, de clutter, detoxify your brain. Get off all social media, man. It is all BS. YouTube's fine. Just watch silly little videos. You know, it's it's kind of fun. But all that other crap, life is so freaking short, man. Waste your time on Twitter with these people posting stuff back and forth. No matter what side of the aisle you're on or whatever, who cares? It's just a waste of toxic time. Uh, just don't do it. And uh, stay off social media. Stay off TikTok. Just trust me. Try for a month. You'll become a new person. You'll become positive. Uh, it's amazing. They, I don't know. Just don't watch news. Yeah. Yeah. You just, what are you going to do about it anyway? You know, you watch this crap. They just want to get you upset. What are you going to do about it? You can't do a damn thing. Just go about your day. Mine. Stack Satoshis. And then enjoy your life. All right. I'm out. Bum, bum, bum.